okay you guys this is our well one of our rooms i have room one and nick and tyler have room two so this was already made up for us when we came in because it was in the p.m we got on at like 11 15 last night so here's our door and this is how it was laid out because we've been lounging all day we haven't taken it and folded it into chairs so um they do give you a blanket for each bed and this is how it comes made um i travel with my own pillowcase because i have natural wear my hair natural so here are the curtains and they do close all together you can they have velcro on them to keep them together but i'm gonna keep it open while we are recording for the light this here is for the extra air. It's not much coming in right now, but this is closed. Nothing's coming in. Open, a little bit is coming in. Um, it's on both sides. Um, you have a light for reading at night. Um, and this is how you adjust it here. Um, here is the light for upstairs. Here is the fan for upstairs. You can change it high, medium, low, and then off. I gotta keep it on you guys it's one for this level as well um here is the thermostat where you can adjust it of course i had mine all the way up to less than a fizzy because i like it cold and here is my fan down here and it is of course on high um they do give you two hangers and i put my hoodie on it and this is like a velcro board back here so the curtain you can see is attached to it to keep it in place right now so um this is the mirror over here this is i brought water um you get hand soap and then you get uh cups here and then that's just hanging up there so we can see out the window um this is an extra pillowcase i'm guessing i didn't use it um they give you hand towels and washcloths um so i'm gonna go ahead and close the door this is the way you close the door and then you lock it by closing it here and pushing it there so then i'm just gonna go ahead and let the curtain sound so you guys can see here the curtain is down on this side and then it can fit there so that's extra dark for you and then the curtain from this side you just unsnap it do the same thing pull it and then there's velcro here and then um, i just had it attached to the wall over here as well just to give me some extra darkness um so this is the sink so you just unscrew it and pull it down oh let me move this because that prevents it from all the way so then you have that you put that all the way down and here you have your hot your cold ice cold water right there and then once you the water will pool i don't want to waste water but the water will pool in the sink and once you close it you can see these holes that's where the water will go out once you close it and then while it's open the light is going to be on to let you know that the sink is down so then you can just close it and lock it back up and this right here is the toilet, um, which with the bed out, it's a little bit of a task to use if you're a female. So here it is here. So there it is. And then there is a button up here to flush. So um, that's that. But this does also double as like a step. So let me show you. I'm going to open this back up here so this would be considered like one step so you can step up here and then there's a hand here to pull up and then this step here if you needed to get up to here and this is the storage compartment up here and I have the Patriots duffel bag um this is my toiletry bag that I kept out and then Tyler's bag all up here and we have a little more space we just don't have that much stuff because we checked everything so I'm just gonna show you here this is also the light for the mirror you could turn it off up there if the person was up here just going to use this handrail to steady me back down but they also have the light here so when you push it there it will come on back up there so you can 
turn it back off there as well. And here is the light for the room. So I'm gonna click it once, the light goes off, but you do get a night light. And if you click it again, the night light goes off. So I'm gonna turn that back on, turn it, click it once, and then it comes all the way back on. And in the sleeper car, or these little sleeper cars, you do get two complimentary waters. There was no food service on this train, um, but they do have like a lounge car. So let me show you guys, this is the handle. You just turn it and pull down and then it'll lock into place. And then here is the second bed up here. So you can kind of see, they give you two pillows. And um, this is Tyler's um, hoodie for today. And then the blankets actually come bagged up. And here's the curtains for up here. And then you can open it up for extra light for the person that's up here. If you like to keep it dark, they have the Velcro to keep it stick or stuck. And these are the safety guards. So it connects up here in the ceiling. There are two so you can make sure you don't fall out. And I already connected them just because they were hanging down a little bit. So let me see how, it was easy to put up. Let's see if it's hard to get down. It's not really hard to get down. I just have fat fingers, you guys. So, oh, well for sure, you know, you won't come falling out at night or during the daytime whenever you sleep. But as you can see, this is the hook that you get. It's pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy here. And then it fits up into here. So I'll show you guys me hooking it up. And then that's that and you get two of them and you can kind of see. So through the bumping of the night, this would keep you here. And you can kind of see it's a little indentation it, this is the more full side and it kind of cuts in and then this is the more long side narrow side I should say and it only stops in two places up or down this is the bar for it so I'm gonna go ahead and let this back up just by squeezing and it goes all the way back up and it's locked into place so that is the room tour so we've been lounging in it all day. So I haven't put the seats back up, but we did have a power strip over here. Well, two plugs, I should say. And um, I happen to have my extra long cord with me. So it didn't matter which um, end of the bed I was on, I was still able to um, keep my phone plugged in. It's a little bit different when I had Tyler's um, pad plugged up because it wouldn't go beyond like much right this space right here. So um, in here it also does have a place for you to pull out and play the checkers or chess. No pieces are included so you would not sit on here. So fold it back up and then push it back down and there you go and so actually you guys I'm gonna show you this remove the blanket off and just sit that over here and then this is actually a mattress pad and if you get on during the daytime it's usually folded up and let's see there is a space down here at the bottom let me just get to it where you can kind of see, I have my shoes down there, that's just a bag of trash. Um, they do give you the tissue here in the trash compartment, and the tissue has come wrapped up and I've had to use it, so that's that. And then the little trash bin down there. And like I said, I just had my shoes down here at this part, but let me move it out the way. And then here's a release button. I'm guessing you push to get this. Let me see it. Or maybe you push this one first. Well, let me figure it out, y'all. There. Ouch. Okay, so I just used my foot 
which made it okay to push it to get it to adjust the way you want but to recline it says to lift so i guess lift and pull so i'm gonna push it back for the space here that works pretty good and put this in the trash see if I can show y'all the other side since it has all this stuff on it so this is the mattress this is my book bag I just kept that there because I go in it a lot so this is the mattress pad here and it still has my um, my pillowcase on it so I'm gonna see if it works as easy put my foot on it and then push yeah same thing so that's not that bad you can see Tyler has been over here and he's made a little bit of a mess so you can kind of see i'm trying to do my best so you guys can see how much leg room someone would have in here and i'm 5 10 so nick would be able to sit over on that side or tyler um and our legs could kind of probably go in between one another his may not even reach all the way over here um that's my view from down here and I think we are right outside of um, DC. We're going to Union Station. We were in Richmond about an hour ago, so we should be arriving, but there was a delay. Um, here is the emergency exit. Talks about how you open it up and everything like that. And also too, it gives you instructions on how to use the tray table, changing the seat into the lower bed, using the upper bunk, reclining the seat, lowering the upper bunk and then um yeah these all go together right there so um that's pretty much the tour um i'll show you the little lived in because they are still over here lived in so that's nick and tyler i think he might be trying to nap and he has his pad and they're in here they didn't use the top bunk and he just got the stroller down because we were getting ready to pack up and you can kind of see um the halls are really 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 narrow so um just be careful when you come in and um go ahead and wrap up this little tour and lock it back down which you should always do if you leave out because you can't or take your stuff with you like your bag or your cell phone or tablets or you know stack them up there just out of the way so people anybody could walk in if you're not in the room so you do get a little more space um, in terms of sitting down if the two are not on the recline but if you want to lounge it's good because you can still sit up and you have the support of the headrest here um, and then you also have the pillows for extra space. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hopefully I've covered everything. They do have a little, I'm guessing a little emergency bag up there. I'm not quite sure um, what everything is. I don't know what that is. But if you needed to call the attendant, you'd be able to do so right there. And they have a, uh, this little seat belt. I think it's, I don't know what it's for, but that's where my curtain was tucked behind. So. We are going to wrap it up, like I said, and um, just sit back and arrive into Union Station safely, and we will see you guys later.
Come on, let's take your medicine. Let me pour some. Let me see. There you go. All done? Good job. Good job. All done. And we got to brush your teeth. Okay, good job. Thank you. You, you want to get more? Okay. Ooh, look at your teeth. Ooh. You done? Ooh.